hello everybody welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is grace ann and this is grace ann reads i don't know about anybody else but i am in such a fall mood right now and i feel like especially with changes to seasons i love to just kind of spring clean but for each season or before each season so i'm autumn cleaning right now or fall cleaning and i feel like that really applies to all of the books that i'm in the middle of so this video is going to be a listing of every single book that i'm in the middle of and my sort of plan of attack to finish all of them because i do like all of them some of them have just taken a little bit of a back seat and i want to get back to them so badly this is our gigantic stack here of every single book that i'm in the middle of so let's just go ahead and get to it the first one that is on top is gentle and lowly the Heart of Christ for Sinners and Sufferers. I'm about halfway, I think, through this book, maybe a little over halfway. I started it. There was some stuff in here that I didn't really gel with. It is a spiritual book. It is a Christianity book. So if you're not into that, then don't pick this up. I, I am enjoying it. There were, there were just some points that I wasn't really gelling with and I put it down and I just haven't picked it back up yet, but I do plan to finish this in the throes of 75 hard. Let's just go ahead and get the nonfiction out of the way because I literally have so much. So the next one that I'm in the middle of is Braiding Sweetgrass by Robin Wall Kimmerer. I discussed this in a separate video. I will link it somewhere. Um, this book I just started and it wasn't really what I wanted at the time. And I feel like I am going to come back to this. This is probably my lowest priority on my TBR right now or on my currently reading just because... I wasn't really gelling with it. This may be a summer read. It feels very summery to me, so that may happen, but I am really enjoying this. This is Braiding Sweetgrass, Indigenous Wisdom, Scientific Knowledge, and the Teachings of Plants. It's an absolutely stunning book. Just probably not gonna pick it up right now. And the last nonfiction on my currently reading, I actually just started yesterday, and that is Reading in the Brain, The New Science of How We Read by Stenilsus. I I'm so bad at pronouncing this author's name. Uh, this is the book that I'm currently focusing on for 75 Hard, and I think it is so interesting. So this is probably a top priority for nonfiction and then the other ones that I have just mentioned. It's a really scientific but also a really interesting explanation on how we read and how it works in our brain and our eyes and how it all connects. I think it's fascinating but it is kind of big brained and it's really hard to do when there's any other like noise around because I have to be 100% focused on it. And now for the fiction. I have four fiction books that I'm currently reading. I would say the oldest is probably The Anybody's by N.E. Body. I picked this up I think a couple months back just because I needed some pure nostalgia because this is one of my childhood favorites and I got 80 pages into it out of like 200 and 60 or something pages and I put it down. This is I think top priority of all of these that I want to finish because I just really want that nostalgia and I don't know why I put it down. I absolutely was loving it. So priority number one definitely. Next up is Devotions by Mary Oliver. I was reading this in my morning routine. I was reading a couple of poems a day, usually kind of like one section a day. And it's how far I am into it. Like, I'm a really good chunk into this collection of poetry and I'm absolutely loving it. I just put it down and I never picked it back up. So, which I feel like is kind of the theme here. Um, so I do really want to pick this back up. I do really want to finish this. I absolutely adore this book. It is going to get five stars, I already know. I just want to keep reading. I feel like it's maybe one of those things that I'm just savoring it and it's not like I can't reread it you know like I feel like this is a book that I'm just going to keep rereading over and over again um but yeah if you haven't picked this up I was putting it off for so long and I finally decided to pick it up and now I wish I would have done it sooner because I absolutely love it next is City of Girls by Elizabeth Gilbert I did a read with me for this book um that I posted on my channel so I will also link that video 
and this is one of my all-time favorite books and I am 90 pages in and I put it down I think the main reason I put this book down is because it is one of my all-time favorites that like I'm just savoring it like Mary Oliver and I think like one of the reasons I bought this is because I want to annotate it and you know just really like live with it and sit with it like and love it like I did the first time and I still am loving it absolutely um I think this is also just maybe I'm not in the mood for this right now um I don't know when I'm gonna be in the mood for this but um I'm definitely going to finish it it is one of my favorite books of all time I'm not gonna DNF my favorite book why would I do that and the last book on my physical currently reading is none other than Demon Copperhead by Barbara Kingsolver. I put the gorgeous dust jacket back on because it is absolutely stunning just so I could show you guys this book. This was the winner of the Pulitzer Prize and the Women's Prize for Fiction this year. She's chonky. I am... 211 pages into this book it's like 550 or 560 pages and it's really sad but it is brilliantly written so I do want to finish this I am going to finish this I just think this is going to be maybe a longer book on my TBR and not necessarily or a longer book than I'm reading um I'm not like in a race to finish it I think this will probably take me another month or two to finish just because it's so chunky but I am absolutely loving it. It's just kind of sad and I have to take breaks with sad books because then I get really sad and sometimes this book can be like just sad, 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 sad. Like it's like punching you in the face with so many sad things. It's just heartbreaking and if it ends on a bad note, I don't know if Miss King Solver is going to survive because I'm not, I'm not gonna survive. Those are all of the books on my physical currently reading. I don't think I'm reading anything really on my Kindle right now or like actively reading. Let me know if you have read any of these books, if you think I should prioritize certain ones. What should be the next book that I pick up? I would love to know your thoughts. What are you currently reading right now? Definitely comment that down below and I will be back at you guys with another video soon. Bye.